Hi everyone, welcome to this new video. We are going to work today through all the quick check multiple choice of chapter 15, uh, which is called about, uh, it is about Monopoly. This is the book of Gregory Mankiw, Principles of Economics. So the first question says, a firm is a natural monopoly if it exhibits the following as its output increases. So remember a natural monopoly is one that the conditions in the market they are settled just for this company to be in the market if other companies they go into the market is not going to be uh, a kind of logical for the consumers and for them as well there are a huge cost in order to enter so they is like kind of barriers to entry so we can say that at that time that it's just better to have that company as an example we have the aqueduct imagine different companies going to the to just like underground and put every single company the pipes it should be like really hard so they already have a great cost a great fixed cost so then it goes like the average total cost is decreasing so we're going to have a look here to the options so first decreasing marginal revenue increasing marginal cost decreasing average revenue or decreasing average total cost so this is the graph of a natural monopoly so we have in the y-axis the cost and here we have the quantity of output so they when they produce more so that when the quantity increases automatically the average total cost decreases so definitely it's going to be the decreasing average total cost so for a profit maximizing monopoly that charges the same price to all consumers what is the relationship between price p marginal revenue and marginal cost so here we have different options we're going to have a look here to a standard monopoly so we're going to represent in the y-axis the cost and revenue and the x-axis we're going to represent as quantity so here we have the demand that the monopoly they face automatically this is downward slope why because they have market power and when the price so just the monopoly they face the demand of the market so when the price um, they charge a higher price naturally uh, they the demand is going to be less different from a competitive market that they don't have any market power and they cannot change the price uh, because otherwise if they charge a higher price no one is going to buy to them they will go to another company so here we have the marginal revenue which is uh, they start at the same point as the demand but the the slope is like more in, inclined so then this one is going to be the, the marginal revenue then we have this one which is the marginal cost which is increasing with the quantity produce uh, increase as well and here we have the um, the average total cost okay and which is u-shaped usually so first the first point that you need to um, locate is the marginal cost margin ribbon it doesn't matter if it is a competitive market or we are talking about monopoly every uh, profit maximizing firm it doesn't matter which uh, market they belong to the condition is going to be represented uh, when the marginal cost is exactly to the marginal revenue so remember marginal cost what does it mean is basically which is going to be your additional cost when you produce one additional unit and the marginal revenue analogous, uh, analogously is going to be when the when the quantity you sell the additional quantity sell sold how how much money you will re receive for this one so when this is the fact you have a more incentives to produce more because your next quantity you will receive more money that that is going to cost you until this one 
because this part it doesn't make any sense imagine that you produce that part so the additional uh, revenue it doesn't compensate the cost of of this additional unit so this one is going to be definitely the quantity maximized obviously the consumers they want demand at that point because the demand is over here so they you can project that line to this one and this one is going to be the quantity of demand it's going to be exactly the same but this one is going to be the price charge so this one you automatically um, notice that here uh, the price is definitely higher than the margin of revenue and the quantity is when the marginal revenue is exactly equal to the marginal cost okay right so if a monopoly's fixed cost increase its price will and its profit will so remember the condition of the marginal cost equal to cost to equal to marginal cost sorry marginal cost equal to marginal revenue so when you make the va the variation of the of the cost at the end of the day due to the fixed cost they they are the same for all the array of prices that you have in that company then what it really matters is the change in the variable cost then you will uh, you will maximize at the same price if this fixed cost is not like extremely high but this still uh, allow you to have benefits so we are kind of assuming that but at the end of the day so the price is going to be exactly the same and then your profits naturally will decrease remember the profits they are defined as total revenue minus total cost so total revenue it should be exactly the same because you charge the same price therefore you sell the same quantities and then your total cost it will change because part of that which is represented throughout the fixed cost they will increase then it's going to be D for compared to the social optimum a monopoly um, firm chooses compared with the with the um, so compared with social optimum monopoly firm chooses first quantity that is too low and price that is too high quantity that is too high and price that is too low uh, quantity uh, and a price that that are both too high or a quantity and a price that are both too low basically when we have here the graph Okay, we're going to represent that again basically even if we don't have a look to this graph automatically what happened with a monopoly the price is going to be higher or lower than social optimum definitely is going to be higher and the quantities due to the the price is higher naturally the quantity demand should be lower so then definitely is going to be just this one quantity uh, low and price too high here it should be here around here the optimum the social optimum so definitely should be price lower and quantity uh, higher quantities okay then the next point the dead weight loss from monopoly arises because remember the dead weight loss the dead weight loss it appears every time we have a market failure so when when we talk market failure we can talk about the government um, kind of when they go into the market so throughout it taxes or subsidies so they will create kind of dead weight losses here the monopoly is kind of um, kind of an idea of monopoly of, of government when they charge uh, when they charge taxes because kind of these profits it should be kind of the income of the government and they will generate definitely dead weight loss and basically the dead weight loss they are generated because those are the transactions that they are not going to be done due to the price higher than the marginal uh, marginal revenue and definitely this one it should be the problem so then 
Remember here we have the condition the dead weight lies is going to be represented by this triangle. So here the point is like um, definitely some potential consumers. So this part of this curve, those quantities that they are not consumed due to the higher price, um, because this one this price is higher definitely than this marginal cost which is around here. Then the last question says when a monopolist switches from charging a single price to perfect price discrimination it reduces. Remember the quantity produced, the firm's profit, consumer surplus, total surplus. So it reduces the quantity produced. Now, actually, the quantity increased because due to they sell to different groups, so they discriminate, uh, and actually they made in a perfect, um, in a perfect way when uh, to each consumer uh, it will be sold to the maximum willingness to pay. Then, for this reason, the quantity definitely should increase. The firm's profit reduces. No, actually it's totally the opposite. The idea when you make price discrimination process is because you are going to have higher benefits. Otherwise, you will charge a single price. Then consumer surplus. Yes. Actually, at that point, even there is no dead weight loss. What we are facing at that time is like each consumer will pay what they will uh they, they are willing to uh, to pay. So definitely the consumer surplus will be reduced. And total surplus? Well, uh, actually total surplus will increase because part of the dead weight loss will be taken by the monopoly and the consumer surplus should be taken by them as well. Okay, so definitely it should be the consumer surplus. So I hope uh, it has uh, like worth for you. You have a better idea about this quick um, Quick, quick multiple questions. Remember, uh, maybe um, if you have anything to say, anything that maybe I said wrong, please uh, say to me. I'll be more than glad to have these questions. Um, that's it. See you in the next video. Bye bye.